Welcome to the training video on positioning for optimum panoramic and TMJ images using the Gendex OrthoRolex 8500 DDE. To begin, verify that the power switch is on. Verify that the gantry is in the start position by using the reset button either on the column or on the gantry, the rotating imaging part of the system. Next, choose manual exposure settings or choose body type by pressing the patient size selection button until the desired body type is highlighted. Pedo or small, medium and large adult. Select the exposure, either pan or one of the TMJ projections by pressing the function button. For convenience, instructions for taking images are located on the unit itself. Push the lever to open the head supports. Place a barrier on the bike guide and insert it into the bite guide slot. The chin rest should be used instead of the bite guide on indentulous patients or those who are missing anterior teeth. Place the appropriate lead apron on the patient. Using the up-down buttons on the column controls, raise or lower the gantry to the approximate height for the patient. Additional adjustments can be made with these buttons once the patient is in the unit. This panoramic image was taken with proper positioning there is no distortion in the size and shape of the anatomical structures or overlapping of the teeth. To achieve this result and avoid unnecessarily exposing patients with retakes, carefully follow these instructions. Ask the patient to step forward into the unit with his head between the head support arms and to grasp the handles, then to move his feet forward. It may be helpful to place a marker on the floor or to use your foot as a guide. The patient's body should be straight with the upper body slightly slanted backward. This position stretches the spine to minimize its shadowing on the image. Raise and lower the gantry as needed so that the bite guide is at the level of the mouth. Then assist with placing his upper and lower teeth into the groove of the bite guide at the midline. Raise or lower the bite guide as needed and then tighten it firmly in place with the appropriate knob. Next, ask the patient to close his eyes. Switch the positioning laser lights on by pressing the appropriate button. These lights will switch off automatically after 45 seconds. For the first adjustment, focus on the front vertical light beam that should be centered on the patient's mid-sagittal plane, the midline. If necessary, gently turn the patient's head to adjust. If the patient is off-center, one side of the pan will be elongated, the other side compressed. Next, focus on the horizontal lines, which should follow the Frankfurt plate, the lower margin of the orbit to the tragus at the external auditory canal. Manually tilt the patient's head or raise and lower the gantry to achieve this position. If the patient's chin is too far up or down, the mandible will appear inappropriately arched and the anatomical structures will be distorted. Next, adjust the lateral vertical line. While ensuring that the patient doesn't move, use the forward and back buttons until the laser line is positioned in the center of the upper cuspid. If the patient is too far forward or back of the vertical line, the image will be shortened or elongated respectively. To stabilize the patient, Carefully adjust the head supports so that they are gently pushing against the patient's head on either side. Ask the patient to place his tongue on the roof of the mouth. Clear the area and trigger the exposure with the hand switch button. The patient should remain still for the duration of the exposure. Then open the head supports. Ask the patient to release the bite guide. Bring his feet back to a normal position and then release his grasp on the handles guide him out of the unit. Follow the instructions in the manual for decontamination of system parts. TMJ projections. Patients are positioned and removed from the unit using the previous instructions. What follows are the differences in positioning. For lateral TMJ exposures, push the function button to highlight the lateral TMJ choice. Both TMJ projections utilize the flat chin rest. This is the TMJ ruler with a disposable ear covering in place. With laser lights on and patient's eyes closed, insert the earpiece of the ruler into the patient's ear and match it to the horizontal laser lines. 
manually move the patient to line up the lateral laser line with the vertical line on the ruler. Clear the area and trigger the exposure. Repeat exposure with open mouth position as needed. For frontal TMJ exposures, push the function button to highlight the frontal TMJ choice. Ask the patient to protrude the mandible. Tilt patient's head down to 5 degrees past the Frankfurt plate and line up the lateral vertical line with the lower cuspid. Clear the area and trigger the exposure. For more information, please consult the manual. Thank you.